Hey YouTube and welcome to a review of all my Lego motor vehicles. I showed some of these in the police station but they've changed a bit and I didn't really explain them much so I wanted to keep that one short. Um, <coughs> so I guess we'll start with the smallest first which is the Segway. So basically I've just made the wheels a bit bigger with the tiny turbo wheel and the um, motorcycle wheel on the outside. Um, it's quite nice. It's quite bulky there. It's got two lights there. It's kind of got a weird stupid face. And then here's a little tiny siren. It has a taser rack. Handlebars and then this weird guy. Now motorcycle. It's just pretty standard. Quite simple. So there's two there. It's got the same technique as Lego used right there. Um, there's handcuffs, tasers, walkie talkies, and radio antenna. That's basically that one. And here's the car. I've done the same technique as on the te Segway with the wheels here. And it's got a nice bumper. And the back of it is quite nice as well. It's got a nice spoiler and the back is quite sports car-y. It's not even a word. Radio antenna there. Not a very good one by the looks of it. And inside it's just a seat with the steering wheel right over there. So that's that one. And here's the prisoner transport vehicle. Um, so here on the bottom it has this weird decoration thingy and it's got some dark blue because that looks nice it's got the um, doors with a minifigure base on top of the supply box and then you open the doors here into the prison and there's a guy in there looks quite angry in the cabin quite simple just a guy in there it's got some flashlights on the top and this searchlight also it's got a bit of weird levels there with some slopes and stuff and then here's the big one the octan tanker which is actually the odd one out in two ways because it's new one whereas the others are old and also it's not a police vehicle as you may notice but anyway I put it in this video so it's kind of a bit lorry like but I didn't want it to be too much of a lorry because I wanted it to be an octane truck <coughs> so it's got the big octane tanker on the back with um, the canisters on the top. I don't think the real thing actually has them, but they just look nice, you know? Um, has a rounded thing on the top to make it look more realistic. Has the grey wheel guards, and six wheels. Has the gouges, the levers, controls, and it has these things. Look lorry like. And the flashlight. It's just basically a fence, like that. And then I just put it on one of these. I think it looks quite nice. <coughs> I'm going to take that off though, because that's in the way of um, <coughs> the cabin. It's not very good at taking off the cabin, because I didn't really intend it to do that. I tried to, but it just didn't work. So here's a monitor, maybe sat nav or something. And here's the driver. Yeah. And that's the cabin. So I've got some dark grey here because in the original thing it was just all white with a couple of those straight things. Um, but I added some grey and then it looked a whole lot nicer, more rugged. 
has the thing for aerodynamic and has the Octan logos twice and here this is how he made it it's just an upside down two of these, that's the right way up and then I just put a slot in there and then that just slots with them and then this will just secure it in place and it's secured with a pillar and the pillar kind of acts as a holder it's quite nice it's quite a nice vehicle, I hope you enjoyed this please rate, comment, subscribe and share